What is up YouTube? It's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day. I didn't do a Tuesday episode and I'm not doing a Thursday episode this week. No ride along, no show and tell because it's the Christmas week. But I know you're sick of your family. You're sick of your family today and you want to eat your turkey in peace. You want to eat your mashed potatoes and roast potatoes and whatever you're having, your prawns in peace. And you want to watch something on YouTube and there's nothing on YouTube. So the Aussie VHS Thrifter, he's here. He's here. He's here to tell you the top 10, top 10 items. Top 10 items I surprisingly found that were worth money this year. So let's do it. Let's do this. Have you got your beer? You got your Christmas beer? You got your turkey? You got all your fucking ham and shit? Let's do this. It's a fucking Christmas episode, man. Let's do it. So it is Christmas Day. Thanks heaps for watching and taking time out on your Christmas Day. I uh, know it gets a little bit boring. Um... Uh, by the end of Christmas and you want the family to fuck right off and they haven't fucked off So you're in the other room or you're watching it on your phone, whatever you're doing or cool Or you might have told your family to fuck off. I've got my presents now. Thanks for the fucking socks and jocks mum Thanks for the fucking socks and jocks. Thanks for the new. Thanks for the new Kmart t-shirt I wanted a, I wanted the Ninja Turtles fucking shellmobile, but no no all I got is socks and a t-shirt mum so anyway, 10 items that surprisingly, I su it was surprised me that I found that were worth money on eBay. Now I picked up this year a Viewmaster. Well, it wasn't actually the Viewmaster. I picked up the real discs that go in a Viewmaster. When I picked up a big lot uh, from a garage sale, there happened to be about 30 Realmaster reels in there. Now, Realmaster actually started in the 30s. These were all from the 70s and 80s that I found. Now, I knew nothing about the Viewmaster and the reels. Now, I had all the reels and I had about 30 of them. I lotted them all up together and I got 50 bucks for them and I couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. To this day, I've never found a Viewmaster or the reels again. I haven't even looked up comms on this since back then after I sold it, which I now realize I could have sold it for more. Shit happens. You make mistakes as you learn, but you also know that that's one thing that I will pick up. I want to pick up a Viewmaster and I want to pick up more reels. If you can get the reels still in the um, still in the plastic, you're laughing. You're absolutely laughing. So look out for a Viewmaster and the reels. That's my number one that surprised me this year. Number two that surprised me when I started looking for shirts. This sold after a couple of weeks of me having it. Toes by the Nose brand. I was looking for Hawaiian shirts because other sellers have told me about Hawaiian shirts. Mambo, that's what I was looking for. That's what I thought I had. This Toes by the Nose brand, I still really know nothing about, but when I've looked up comms, they sell, and they sell for good money. So if you can find yourself Toes by the Nose, pick that up. They're all Hawaiian, tiki-ish type of thing. That's what I'll be looking out for. Never seen one ever again. Don't know if I ever will. But that surprised me of how much it was worth. Get it. Just get it. Fucking, just go look now. Put down your fucking turkey and beer. Go, go break into an op shop. Go look for one. Go fucking look for one now. Number three is Doctor Who Anything. Doctor Who, I know, is popular. I watched it as a kid. I watched all the Tom Baker. Yes, that's where the scarves got popular. But fuck me dead, I found a fucking toy for fucking one dollar. A Doctor Who toy and that sold for fifty dollars. I found a Dalek, I found a Dalek for fifty cents, that sold for twenty something dollars. The VHS go very slowly, okay? VHS Doctor Who goes slowly but you will get about ten dollars for them. I've been selling them for about between eight and fifteen dollars. Depends what ones you get. They move slowly, but they still sell. And if you get it for 50 cents, it's fucking worth it, okay? Uh, the Doctor Who DVDs that I paid a dollar each for, and then I got that huge lot, which I haven't even listed yet. Doctor Who DVDs sell. They sell between 10 and $15 if they're used already. And I've been selling one Doctor Who DVD every fortnight. 
sometimes every week. So that's, you know, that's good, man. So look for Doctor Who, definitely Doctor Who. I found a few Doctor Who books. They didn't really go. So I don't know how the Doctor Who books go. They weren't worth any money. But definitely look into the DVDs, videos, and the toys. Mainly the toys. The toys, fuck, I couldn't believe. And they weren't even in the wrappers. So they were already, they were breathing. They were already, someone let them out to breathe and played with them. And I still got good money for them. So Doctor Who, that was your number three. Number four is cassette tapes. Now, I am a lover of VHS videos. But cassette tapes, when I got a big haul that time and I got 20 cents, 20 cents, fucking hell. Who's been drinking on Christmas? I paid $20 for a big massive box and there was hundreds in there. A lot of them didn't have uh, the tape in the cover, so half of them were in the bin. But if you find stuff like your Kiss, your Metallica, your Motley Crue, uh, all that type of old stuff and Def Leppard, you're going to get really good money for all that uh, cassette tapes. There's other ones as well because you can find some original ABBAs. You can find some old soundtracks and they all move as well. Uh, one of the ones that I sold for $50, it was a box set of eight tapes um, that sold for 50 or 60 It was Aerosmith and it was the box set of all their albums. That was cool too. But in the end, I ended up getting $500 altogether from selling all those cassette tapes that I paid $20 for. Cassette tapes move. Uh, you will if you find original releases. And Australian releases tend to have different covers to a lot of the American releases. So if you find a lot of those Kiss ones and old 70s rock band ones, you are going to be fucking laughing. A lot of the Aussie thrifters have uh, found success with cassette tapes. Cassette tapes, when I found that at the start of the year, I never really thought of moving into the cassette tape uh, from the VHS to the cassette tape world. But it's been doing great for me and I've been having success for it. Fuck, I even sold Thomas the Tank Engine for $20 uh, a couple of weeks ago when there was a 50 cent cassette. Cassettes sell. They sell. My number five. Me mummy, daddy, daddy, I want a happy meal so I can get the fucking toy. You better eat all your dinner or I'm not getting this happy meal for you. Oh, I promise, daddy. I promise I'll eat all my dinner. I need this. So they buy it. They buy the fucking Happy Meal or Fun Pack, whatever it is, and then what happens? Then what happens? Suck shit, Dad, you silly prick. I ain't fucking eating it. I just want the fucking toy. And then... <laughs> you ain't having the fucking toy. It goes in the fucking drawer. And then fucking 30 years later, I'm going to fucking give it to an op shop. So if you're lucky enough to grab uh, one of these old 70s and 80s uh, Happy Meal kind of toys, and even 90s, Red Rooster, Chicken Tree, KFC, they all had some cool stuff. Pizza Hut. Now, Pizza Hut's where I found, uh, at one of the op shops, I found those Land Before Time puppets. Those Land Before Time puppets, really cool. Really, really cool. And uh, they sold for 20 bucks each, and I got them for a dollar a dollar each, I think it was. So, look for your old toys. Uh, look on comms at old um, fast food fast food stuff. Number six is bulking up all your comic books. Uh, Primetime Hunters, Primetime Treasures, uh, that American uh, channel, I watched a lot of his stuff and he said bulk up all your comic books and you can pick up comic books so cheap uh, from people that don't know what they've got. So I did house thrifting, I sold uh, 30 something uh, Marvel comics for 60 bucks, happy days, bulked it up, they weren't worth fuck all. They weren't worth anything to sell them individually, but bulking up, someone wanted them. Uh, earlier in the year, I found Ninja Turtle comics, and it was a dollar or two dollars for um, 20 of them or 30 of them, and I got 80 bucks for those as well. So, lotting up your comic books, so very surprising. Never thought that would uh, work. Thank God for other channels. So, make sure you got your notebook. Are you taking notes? I take notes of fucking other people's shit. You're taking notes. I'm going to go for all this stuff when I go thrifting uh, very soon. Other people's tips of what they buy. you got to get, uh, got to watch other people's channels. Got to subscribe to everyone. Get some good tips. So bulking up comic books. Very, very good. Very good tip. Number seven is Thomas the Tank Engine on BHS. Now, Thomas the Tank Engine isn't a fast mover unless it is Ringo Starr. Now... I don't know the whole facts and all that, but Ringo Starr episodes I'm gathering and what I've heard haven't been put on TV and on DVD. 
So the Ringo Starr VHSs, they sell. They sell. I sell them $20, $30 all day long. I just sold a clamshell, clamshell Thomas the Tank Engine that I picked up for 30 some, 35 cents because it was three things for a dollar, so we'll say 35 cents. That's all for 40 bucks last week. Thomas the Tank Engine, at the start of this year, when I caught on to it, I was selling Thomas the Tank Engine like no tomorrow. So look for Thomas the Tank Engine, but it must say, narrated by Ringo Starr. Are you talking about the Ringo Starr that did Yellow Submarine? Yes, the Yellow Submarine guy from the Beatles. We all live in the Yellow Submarine. Fucking, you don't want to hear that shit on Christmas Day. So Thomas the Tank Engine, get on it. Are you writing this down? Number eight, we're getting there. Now, I'm about to package this up. Yes, I, I, I filmed this the day before fucking Christmas, Christmas Eve. So what? Goosebumps Season 1. When I looked at comms a few months ago when I brought this, people were selling this for 60 to $70. I undercutted. <laughs> what can I say? So I undercutted the shit out of them. I did mine for $50, plus they paid for their own postage. This sold for 50 bucks. $50 and I paid a dollar? A dollar. Goosebumps Season 1 looks like it goes pretty good on eBay. Looking up comms and looking up everything else. So Dare you disturb me with your barking on Christmas Day? You cannot bark on Christmas Day while people are eating their ham. So Goosebumps Season 1, look out for that. That is a... And, and remember, I'm just going with what stuff that I've sold. That I've sold that are surprisingly found that have been worth money. So Goosebumps Season 1. The number nine, I guess it wasn't really a surprise to me, but it might be a surprise to a lot of other people. So number nine to me is loose toys, like loose action figures. When you go to the markets and you find loose toys, so for instance, like this Ninja Turtle that I found, barking is forbidden. Barking's forbidden. Forbidden. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You are making all the noise in the world and I don't like it because I'm making a video. So stuff like this Ninja Turtle, this is a uh, metal head Ninja Turtle. Uh, I could get about 20 uh, to $40 for this depending on uh, when the time is right and a buyer comes along. But I got this for 50 cents, keeping it for my own collection. Stormtrooper, I could probably get about 10 bucks for it. I'm not sure, his hand fell off. But that was another one that I picked up for like 50 cents and all that. So you loose toys. Always look through, when you go to garage sales and all that, look through all the loose toys because you are going to find a gold mine. There's gold mines out there. We want the money. Fucking oath we want the money. We want the money and we want the sales. We want that shit. Number 10. Now please remember, this is not for kids, this channel. This channel is not for children. If children are watching it, please, please, please go away. Go away. Go back to your toys, go back to your Christmas toys. This is not for children, it's for adults. Number 10, pornos. Porno VHS and porno DVDs. They sell, but you've got to make sure you list them correctly. Men's interest, you've got to put men's interest. I've already had some taken off because I wrote porno. You can't have porno bits showing on there. You gotta fucking put little bits of sticky tape over it so you can't see the nips and you can't see the bush and all that. But these sell from $30 to $50. And when you can get your hands on these dirty, grubby fucking videos, some wanker is gonna buy it. You can throw in a fucking pack of tissues for him as well if you really want. But he really must want these old fucking videos. I don't know why in DVDs. I don't know why they want them. I guess they don't want the internet history. They don't want their wife to see that they've been fucking flogging off on their account. They don't want their kids to fucking click on fucking, oh, what's scat mean? And then they click on it and they're like, people shit on each other? And I can't believe that that German content is out there. So people want all that stuff. So porno sell. Don't be embarrassed to sell them. Don't be embarrassed to buy them if someone's selling them. If you get them cheap enough, do it. Who cares? It's it's just porn. They're the, they're the fucking ones that should be embarrassed because they're buying it. 
I'm not embarrassed for putting money in my pocket. So if you want to buy porn off me to put money in my pocket so me and my missus can go freaking do stuff with that money, fuck yeah. You buy that porn and you go jerk yourself silly, buddy. So there are my 10 things uh, this year that uh, surprisingly found worth money on eBay. Um, there's way, way more, but that's all I'm going to do today. Um, that's all I'm going to do this week. We'll see how the rest of the year goes, but big things uh, next year. Uh, once I get 500 subscribers, you can order the uh, Dog Shit Day coffee mug and the VHS Brifter coffee mug and the VHS Brifter stubby holder. Thanks so much everyone that has subscribed to me. Uh, I actually got like 300 subscribers in the last three months, which is awesome. Um, the first uh, the first six, no, the first eight months I only had like 70 something subscribers. And in the last uh, three months, bang, another 300. Thanks to a lot of other um, uh, channels out there who have helped me out as well. And uh, glad everyone likes the content. So don't forget to subscribe and like because, uh, hey, what else is there to watch on uh, Christmas? So go back and watch all my other shit. Don't watch the earlier stuff. That's bad. That's bad. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone that subscribed. <laughs>